One of the big complaints about the Nano Plus is the wind resistance. And it has been reported that Autel has reduced the maximum speed that you will get in sport mode from 15 meters per second to 13 meters per second. So I've decided to find out what is the maximum capabilities for my drone today. Disclaimer, the results you find in this video are from my pre-production unit. Your result may be different. It's slightly windy outside. It's not completely calm. So I will have to fly in two directions uh, to make sure that I get like a proper result. So let's start by plugging in a fresh battery. So that is no excuse. So let's get off to the races and position it on the launch pad. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly each of the three fly modes full speed ahead, two directions, and then see if we get close to the specification. Start recording. Stop recording. And we use this little pond out here as our target. In my full review of the drone, I mentioned there was no way to switch the flight mode except from pressing uh, on the interface. And some of you wrote me that that's actually not true. You can uh, configure the function button to uh, be able to switch between the flight modes. And just to show you how it, that is done is that we're going under control here and then you have these options. And if you select speed mode, you can now switch here by single tapping between the different modes. So we're starting by testing it in smooth, putting it in 10 meters height. That's good height. So let's try and uh, go towards the pond here and see how much we can get it up to. See right now, it's going towards five meters per second. Yeah, so a slightly a tad over five meters per second is possible in smooth flying, I guess, using the tailwind. Let's just return the drone here to where I'm sitting and see if it changes if we fly the other way. So full stick, full throttle ahead. And right now it's being reduced to almost, yeah, one third of what was possible before. It's really struggling to get forward right now. It's maxing out at 2.5 meters per second, which is around half the advertised. There's actually no reason for the drone to slow down in the two lower modes because it has additional power. We know that from the sport mode. So Autel could basically just utilize this to compensate for a wind resistance, at least in the standard and smooth mode. That would be my thinking. What do you think? Share your opinion below. So now let's try it in standard mode. One tap on the function button and we are in standard mode. Let's see what's going on here. So, and that should be uh, possible to get up around 10, 11, according to the specifications. It seems we might be able to get it up to 10. 10, that is the maximum. And let's see what happens when we are flying against the wind here. And I'll just post the current uh, weather forecast, the prediction of uh, the weather speeds or the wind speeds. So now we are trying to head back. And it seems the pattern is the same here. It's almost halving the speed on the way back. That's kind of, uh, <laughs> that's kind of discouraging. But luckily, it's a beautiful morning. Um, so now let's flick it into sport mode. And that is what has caused all the discussion uh, on the web. And the reason why I'm doing this is because the official warning or the official uh, statement from uh, Autel was that uh, we will be able to get 15 meters a second in sport mode. After careful considerations, they have decided to reduce this to 13 to ensure safe and uh, reliable operation. So now we're back. Punch it, Bishop. <laughs> See, it's going towards 12, 12.1. So it maxes out at 12.1 meters per second. Then let's see if it's the same. We see if we fly home the opposite direction. So you can see that the speed drops from 12 down to six, seven, seven meters per second. And these are the speeds I could obtain in smooth, standard and sport mode. I've been in direct contact with Autel about my findings and they are well aware about these issues. And right now they are currently working on improving the drone's performance. So when there's new firmware available for addressing these issues, I will of course follow up with the video. So if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, now might be a good time if you don't want to miss out on those updates.
What you have seen here is probably for some the biggest issue with the Nano Plus, but it has a lot of other stuff going on for it. It's a super machine packed into 250 grams. And if you missed the full review that I made of the drone, I'll make sure to include that in this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.